Hey, it's Joe, and welcome back to Human Fluence. Let's talk about something deeply personal and powerful. How information comes through as a medium. It doesn't always come in clear, straightforward. It's often subtle, layered, and symbolic, sometimes through images, sometimes through sensations, or even specific words or phrases. These messages can come through as feelings in the body, mental images, sounds, or an inner knowing. Each piece of information is like a puzzle. It might not make complete sense at first, but when you start putting it all together, the picture becomes clearer. But here's the key. Interpretation is everything. So a huge part of mediumship is learning to trust your instincts, your own interpretation of the signs, and the knowing that the message you're delivering can resonate on multiple levels. Another thing I've noticed is that spirit often communicates in fragments. It's rarely a complete sentence or a fully formed idea. You're translating the language of spirit into something that can be understood in this reality. And it's not just about the content of the message, it's also about the feeling that comes with it. Sometimes the emotions behind the message is just as important as the words or symbols themselves. I might get a strong sense of joy, sadness, or urgency that accompanies an image or word. And that emotional energy is part of the message too. It's all interconnected. But even when the messages are subtle or fragmented, there's always something there if you're patient enough to receive it and open enough to interpret it without judgment. Mediumship isn't about getting it right or wrong. It's about delivering what you're receiving and trusting that the message will make sense in ways you might not fully understand at that moment. What's truly fascinating is that interpretation can evolve. A simpler message that didn't make sense at first might take on deeper meaning as the reading progresses. Or sometimes the message might not fully resonate until days, weeks, months later. Spirit works in layers, and it's our job as mediums to let those layers unfold without trying to force a particular meaning. So what does this all mean for anyone practicing or learning mediumship? It means that patience, trust, and openness are key. It's about being present in the moment, receiving what's there, and knowing that the interpretation might not always be immediate or obvious, and that's okay. Spirit communicates in ways that are often beyond our immediate understanding, but with practice and experience, the interpretation becomes more fluid. It's really a beautiful practice. It's not just about hearing or seeing things from the other side. It's about becoming an interpreter of the subtle symbolic language of spirit, translating those messages in a way that brings comfort, clarity, and healing to the people receiving them. And when we trust the process, when we allow ourselves to be open to whatever comes through, we find that the messages always have meaning. If you're interested in honing your psychic abilities, I have many chapters as well as a full set of exercises the back of my book, Solutions. I'll link it in the description in the comments. Human Fluence, out.